Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Rosa, you can call me Dr. Rose. Today we're going to be talking about how to apply to your USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 CK as an International Medical Graduate or IMG. So let's get right to it. So for medical students or graduates whose medical schools aren't located inside the um, United States or Canada system, um, unlike US um, medical graduates, this, the uh, process for application in step one and step two CS, uh, it's a little bit different. In occasions, it may prove somewhat frustrating. However, I'm here to provide you a general guideline as to how you can apply and make it a somewhat easier for you as well. So to be able to register for and take your USMLE step one or step two CK, you need to obtain first your USMLE ID number. That is your first goal. As an IMG, this process is done through the Educational Commissioner for Foreign Medical Graduates, or ECFMG for short. So the first step then is to go to the ECFMG website and uh, request an ECFMG ID number and create an account. Once you request it, this request usually takes about one to two weeks for you to be uh, emailed your ECFMG ID number. Once you have your ECFMG number, the next step is to confirm your identity. Now to start this con identity confirmation process, you need to go to the ECFMG website and complete and submit an ECFG application, which in financial costs, it's around $145 to submit. This is a relatively quick process that um, through video call, you can confirm your identity with an assigned lawyer and complete an affidavit that's requested. Now, once that process is complete and you have confirmed your identity, you will need to wait about one to two weeks to be able to receive via email your USMLE ID number. And using this USMLE ID number, you're going to go back to the ECFMG website and through, that we through them, you're going to apply for your step one using that new identification number. In a similar fashion to the U, uh, United States Medical Graduates or USMGs, um, the USMLE identification number is essentially a, um, a social security number for the um, uh, medical students. In financial terms, unlike United States medical graduates, international medical graduates um, uh, application for the step has a, a cost of around $965. So during the step application for uh, in a similar manner as the United States medical graduates, you would request an eligibility period, which is essentially it's a um, uh, about a three month uh, period in which you have a window to take your uh, step. This, with, this uh, eligibility period takes about one to two weeks as an international medical graduate to be confirmed. Once confirmed, that uh, scheduling permit is uh, generated, which again, it's a, an extremely important um, document because it's the one that has the information that allows you to schedule your, uh, your test through the parametric website, and you will need to bring a copy of it uh, the day of the examination. And finally, in terms of scheduling your exam, you would have to go through uh, to the parametric website to be able to, using your scheduling permit, uh, select a date and a site in which you would be taking your USMLE Step 1 or Step 2 CK. So this is all for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot. And uh, until the next one, I wish you a happy and healthy life.